Hello friends, so today in this video, we will be discussing the first problem from the latest code forces round 711 problem name GCD sum. So the problem statement in simple term states that you are given some x value and then like a GCD sum is a function which actually take out that x value and the sum of the digits of that x value. So let's assume that you have some 20. So you will find out the GCD of 20 and the sum of the digits of 20. So sum of digits is 2 plus 0. So that is the GCD sum. Now it's actually giving out a like uh, a greatest common divisors between both of these two numbers. So you just have to tell that what is the number which is greater than or equal to x. Okay, or actually like greater than or equal to n you are given some number n. And you have to find out some x which is greater than or equal to n such that the gcd sum is greater than 1. Now it means that you have to find out some number greater than or equal to n such that if you find out the gcd sum of that number then it should be greater than or equal to 1. Now as you can see in gcd sum also we are just finding out the gcd of two numbers and it should be greater than or equal to 1 it means that they should have at least one factor. If it is equal to 1 it means that both of that numbers are co prime if x and the sum of its digit is co prime then the answer is obviously 1 which means that there is no common factor between the sum of the digits and x itself now the first thing which comes to my mind is like it's a a problem and though the constraints are pretty large which is up to 10 to 18 but you can easily see that uh, see if you take out even a very large number if you find out the sum of the digits it can be easily find out the maximum is 18 so in 18 like in 18 iterations going from 0 till 18 you can easily find out the sum of the digits so it, it is taking no time it is very fast so and also gcd is taking log in time only so which is a like inbuilt function in c plus plus so this whole function can be calculated very fast now can it take a can it be taking a very last time out to find out a sum or gcd sum value which is greater than one I think so no because as you can see if I even take out a number which is odd okay because every even number is alternate what I mean by this is uh, so as you, what you can easily see in, the, in this problem is like because you are taking any number which is greater than or equal to n you are just incrementing the count which means that maybe your starting number is equal to 5, 500 okay so if your starting value is 500 and you're not finding out any value then you go to 501 then you go to 502 503 so these like the alternate numbers are even numbers as you can easily see and also they're even numbers so they are not actually like they they are not actually having a prime like they they're having a lot of factors and if you find out the sum of these numbers like as you can see it is five and also as you can see like if you like 500 and 5 will obviously give a gcd greater than equal to 1 so it it is only possible that there is a very large prime factor a prime number such that like as you can easily think that at how many chances it can happen that a prime factor like a, a number and it's some of the dates become co-prime again and again and again if you want to become a co-prime then as you can see the first digit is even like the first number is odd let's assume that the first number is odd odd means that n which i'm searching for or iterating over it is odd okay and then the sum of the digits it should also be odd only because at any case when it becomes even the number become even and the sum of the digits also become even then it is like gcd become greater than or equal to one obviously because like they both have a con factor of two so it should always like it will obviously or it must occurs that the odd number will always give a odd digit of sum and then also it can happen that they might having some con factors but at, at if an even number occurs and it gives a even sum then obviously it is done so i obviously thought that it will not take much iterations and i just run the brute force when it just passed so uh, so you, what you can easily do in this problem is just write down the brute force way and what you can easily do is this is the sum function which is just returning out the sum of the all the digits in that number and you're just doing a while loop till you just find out a number which has a gcd greater than or equal to one so just we are finding out a gcd it'll be, it'll be like a built-in function in c++ so it is just taking a number of n and the digit sum of n if it is greater than or equal to one the answer is that number only and we just return out of this whole function 
else will increment the r value of n such that we will go to the next n and then find out that whether n and the digit sum of n is giving a gcd greater than or equal to 1 and that's the whole logic for this problem we are just doing this in a brute force way and keep on iterating till we find out a value i hope you understand the logic and the code for this problem if you still have any doubts you can mention down i'll see you next one till then keep coding and bye